All right, welcome back guys. Day three of the Florida auctions. Today we are at Yoder and Fry. Tomorrow we hope to hit Ritchie Brothers. See what we can find. Still looking for some trucks. All right, got kind of some slim pickings here, but I uh, do have a few Max. Got a tandem axle Peterbilt. That's, uh, that truck's pretty rough. We do have this beauty of a truck, though. This is an old R model. First glance, she don't look too bad at all. But uh, the first, uh, first concern of problem is the uh, New York State. That's never good. You open up the inside and... Uh, Somebody did one heck of a job on the custom floorboard in here, but this thing is roasty, toasty to say the least. You know, look back into the 1980s and snow plowing right there, folks. We're not gonna go any farther with that one. That's pretty much all we need to see there. Do got a decent Peterbilt here. Got a C12 cat in it. Pretty green bed. She don't look, look too awful, but it is an automatic truck. It is their own brand, so we're gonna pass on that one, but check out this jewel over here. We might be on to something here. This truck has almost two million miles on it. And I'm pretty confident at some point in its life, it's been rolled over on its side. The door's a little tweaked side of the cabs in a little bit but it does have the particular engine in it i'm looking for and somebody's put some work into this thing it's got a new head new injector lines new euc pumps uh air conditioner still works it's a florida truck a lot of good things going on there it does have the hood bushings completely knocked out of it which is what has uh knocked the hole in the top of the hood there Got a little oil leak over on the other side, but for the most part, it's fairly, fairly clean. It's got potential. Keep on walking around. Bed looks pretty good. I'm thinking, I'm just going out on the limb here. There's a chance when this truck turned over, I got a new bed put on at some point, but it's got the metal bed extender instead of the wood, which I may, may or may not take off, I don't know. Frame looks pretty legit. It does have a pretty good ding whammo. Looks like somebody, the truck probably got stuck and somebody hit with a loader right there. Is what happened if I had to guess. These trucks get stuck. But, uh, I don't know. This one's got my attention. Let's fire it up, see how it runs. Let me take it for a quick little test drive. See what happens. I did figure out the passenger side door, or the driver's side door is not open. Another pretty good sign. It's probably been rolled over. It has got, uh, no passenger seat. This is a CV truck, CH DAS, so some of that's been replaced at some point before, but you know what? If the price is right, this is way less of a project than some of the other trucks I looked at. I'm not going to put a tremendous amount of miles on this truck, so we might be onto something. Let's fire it up and see what we got. Oh, come on, hood. That is what I was talking about. Which I can be fixed. Who can be painted? These trucks are pretty easy to paint. Paint a few of them. Used to be red. I don't know. Got my attention. So in the cab here, it's not horrible. I've seen worse. You can tell it was a pretty dirty truck and somebody cleaned up. But it does have a nice pedestal here for all the controls. It does have the trailer brake supply, which is a huge, huge plus. At one point it had power mirrors, but that's all gone. Two negatives I found so far. It does have the Mac manual transmission in it, which I am not a huge fan of, but if it works, it works. We'll overlook that. It does not have an engine brake, which that'd be nice to have, but not a necessity. And the key, the key is a finicky little booger, but 1.9 million miles, almost 2 million miles. Fire's right up. No check engine light.
Morgan bro, y'all. All the gauges seem to be working. See if she moves. A little weird not seeing a passenger seat. We'll have to get a have to get a buddy seat for old Aaron if we get this truck. transmissions are a little bit goofy this is your uh, Ford reverse right here and this is your high low the door does open from the inside so there's just something wrong with the latch there but I'm pretty sure like I said I'm pretty sure this truck's been wrecked uh, I think it may have been wrecked two different times. I think it's been hit in the front end. It's been laid over on that side, but um, price is right. This one might be going in the end. If you guys look back here. The airbags on the cabs. I've got a leak in them, which is what you hear hissing there. Which that can be fixed. These are pretty easy to easy to get to and work on but the frame's not extremely rusty it's got two brand new um rebuilt rear ends in it it's got a new trunnion in it which is the updated style trunnion it's got all new brakes on it all the way around it brand new brakes all the way around it new slack adjusters bottom of the bed looks good this this is in the project range of where we can handle that's for sure fix a few little oddball things on this thing and uh throw some paint on it pretty decent tires all the way around it all right <laughs> we might be on the symbol we're gonna keep an eye on this one this is the first truck i've seen since i've been down here that's got a potential a possibility All right, Chris has found me. Oh, did you see the fancy level thing they got here? Look at that. Oh, so you can tell if you're on a slope or not. Yeah. That way it doesn't throw your in and out to Because, you know, this right here don't, don't do you, you know. No. You got to show them how backwards this thing is. So this is all normal over here. This is up, down, twisty. Easy. Up. Hey, Easy. I seen a guy yesterday. Hold on, you want me to swing? Yeah. I'm going to stick out. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to stick back in. I'm coming after you. And then this. Which should be swing. Stick out. Stick in. Coming to you hot. I think that's worse than the backhoe versus excavator pattern. I think the best thing you can do is just get that. Or it's got to park out right there. Shut her down. Shut her down. No need to throttle her down. It'll shut her down. <laughs> it's a rental. 
That's what appears to be a brand new 180L, which uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this machine. It should have a blue boom on it. I think this is maybe like a new old stock machine. Let's see what engine's in this one. If it's got a, this is definitely not an A series machine. The locked up, hold on. Oh yeah, that is still the Perkins engine. So that is a definitely a different creature what the new ones are. Yeah! Did you get her fixed? The swing's on this side. got four operating options on backup pattern. You're going the wrong direction. They found the pattern changer over on that. They've been playing with it. It sounds like it's uh, not going well. You got ISO and SAE. We got WDF and WTF. <laughs> Did you manage to make it worse? So now we have stick out, stick in. Oh my goodness. Swing left. Oh my goodness. Swing right. Boom up. Oh boy. Boom down. Bucket girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the bucket on the ground. But it gets better. <laughs> Move them back. <laughs> Just one hole. All right, now this is bucket over here. And this swing on the other one. Boom down. All right, move the other one. <laughs> now we got stick in over here. Boom down. Swing is over here. Bucket back. Options. You got one more hole. Now you can't complain that you don't have an operator. What's that one? This one is this one. This one's normal. Oh, that was normal. One, I can't even run it normal. <laughs> yeah, I know. You might want to tell the story. Put it on the hole number four, and I'll show you. Chris just about lost his life on a mini excavator yesterday. I did not lose my life. I about lost my leg. I have I bruises right here for some reason. I don't know why. It was bad enough he blanked out for like five seconds. And I remember what happened. Three seconds I don't recap. It was my life. <laughs> Somewhere because I was in the war for that's three the, seconds. That's the same three seconds of my life I thought I'd seen it flash before my eyes. <laughs> you saw a little IHW. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I seen way, way, way. <laughs> All I remember is 9600 hey, RPM. It may be a little guy, but it's got the speed record. <laughs> Whoever designed that worked at NASCAR. I love it. Alright, every time we build a pond, everybody thinks we need a scraper for some reason to uh, do that type of work. I respectfully disagree for a lot of different reasons. I got a feeling that most people that uh, suggest that just having to ran one a whole lot. I will have to say this piece of equipment has got its place and there is a few ponds we build. It'd be super handy. But most of the ponds we build, we'd be chasing this thing around with a dozer and pushing it out of holes and all kinds of other stuff. It's a Caterpillar. I believe it's probably a 25 or 30 yard machine. I don't see any numbers on it yet, but let's uh, hop up in her and see what she's all about. Old, uh, military machine oh yeah is this the go button we got a throttle somewhere but it's right there hang on here we go oh fired right up that's our apron see that raisin so you get the dirt out of the machine. You have to raise that up to load it as well. That is your bowl up and down. So you lower that down to engage in the ground. Raise it up. To... And then this is your dirt ejector. I don't know if you guys can see the back of the thing. It's sliding towards us. That's what pushes the dirt out of it. The beauty of these things is supposedly they're self-loading. You can kind of load and unload on the go. The downfall is, especially this one being a one-inch machine, you kind of get limited on what you get around and you almost need a second machine to push to load and unload. So you're still running multiple machines doing the uh, 
same thing. You get a nice hard ground or you get nice hard ground or you get to where you're uh, hauling for a good ways. I definitely got an advantage, but they're not all out of bag of chips. They going forward. Look, we got a parking brake somewhere. Three hundred and twenty three hours on it. Probably be a good one behalf of what we do, but just don't think we need one, guys. I just don't think we need one. All right, I haven't got a chance to play on one of these a whole lot either. We're gonna give the old uh, 326 cat a long reach. I'd say it's about a 60 foot of boom on this girl. Let's hop in here once and see what we can accomplish with this thing. That's what's cool about these auctions. You get to see a lot of them, a lot of different random equipment. That's the way it's out there. It's a more go-go. <laughs> this is very similar. You guys watch the videos of uh, of a dump getting loaded by a long range. This is very similar to the machine that was doing that that day. And that guy was ridiculously efficient on the long range. I have to go back and watch the video, but I think he was one size smaller than this and probably about 10 feet less reach, but still pretty much the same machine. They're a little different running one of these all day, every day. A30G Volvo haul truck. So this would be the new model year of what uh, we're running now. This truck looks beautiful, right? We get looking very close and it's got a fresh paint job on it. We got a lot of pit and a lot of rusting on it. Not saying the truck's not in uh, good shape, but it's not quite what it appears to be, but got a tailgate on it. There's a little bit older A40G, so that'd be two sizes bigger, like a 35 and a 40. Oh man, look at that. You guys stay tuned, we got some exhaust building coming on uh, coming on old Bubba Dump. That's what you can't see in the pictures. She's worked in the sand or the salt or the seawater or something for a little while, but uh, let's see if she fires off. I do like the steps getting in and out of these trucks way, way better than old Bubba Dump. Cab's a lot nicer as well. She gonna start? Come on, baby. Oh, barely. And we got some uh, communications errors going on there. Often you jump into a piece of equipment here at the auction and she's not beeping at you for something. It's kind of what was amazing about that old Mack truck over there, all the miles it had on it. 
so his shoes go. Alright. We'll let you go. Good night. Got a 40 ton deer haul truck. Hop up in this thing so you guys can just kind of compare. Obviously it's a little bigger than what we got, but this one here has got the exhaust that comes down. Actually runs into the bed and heats it. Most trucks have, uh, most trucks at least have that. At least have that option. Jump up in and see if this thing will come alive. Quite a bit different looking cab. More they went all out on the armor all on this thing. We're gonna start. <laughs> She's live. It's weird, it has no dash. Everything's over here. Nine thousand hours on her. That goes up pretty quick. That does not go down very quick. Kind of cool chart they got in here. Obviously Bubba Dub, if I had it, they don't have it anymore, but it gives you a suggestion of what gear to be in, your max speed, and your slope percentage and everything. And it'll tell you all that up here on the, um, everything up here on the monitor. So see if this truck will move. Parking brake off, four wheel drive. Oh yeah. Does have a rear view camera on it, which is something we might add to Bubba Dub at some point. I still like the mirrors. I don't know, John Deere's got this and a lot of equipment. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I don't know why, but not too shabby. Been in the Volvo, been in the Deer. Got a few cats here. Another 40 tonner. Might as well uh, hop in this one and see, uh, it's 45 tonner. Check it out, let's see what we got. Got the door handle up high. That's pretty smart. Got a good old fashioned key. I'm not gonna complain about that. A little more conventional dash look up. leave you open. Brake full. Shut down safely. Let's try to reset this thing. It's got the parking brake built into the gear shifter here. I think that's for the emergency I may have hit. We got some air pressure. Let's see if this thing will move. Keep the drive. Oh. Tell me the bed's up. So I haven't been in a cat much, but that is pretty slick right there. I'm not going to lie. Got your bed up and down. Push that in, got all your gears. No reverse camera. A 
do like that. Well, that gives you guys a little difference between a Volvo deer and a cat. There you have it. We have found him a decent little uh, 963 here. That's what it's got. <laughs> One bucket on it. What are we doing? <laughs> you want to tell the world what kind of recovery mission we're on? We're looking for somebody's cell phone. Is it, your, not ours. is it your cell phone? It's not my cell phone. I got my cell phone. I'm calling somebody's cell phone. I wonder phone. whose cell phone it could possibly be. I have I have no idea whose phone it could possibly be. Find it. No, we're trying to figure out whose cell phone we lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm devastated, guys. There's Good footage. Good footage. <laughs> we're, we're not worried about we're not worried about the contacts. We're not worried about subscribing no more. Uh, anything else. We just gotta get our footage back. That's all she wants. Alright, stay tuned for updates. Gosh. Guys, it was nice where it lasted. I'm out of the group. My channel just is getting tanked. I had good footage though. Good thing we found it. You have a wind buffer on that thing? What? What's that mean? A wind buffer. I'm glad the. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to get this legit stuff that you all yeah, have. I'm glad the friends. crisis is over. How many? Would you? Would we mark walk like three miles? At least a three mile <laughs> walk. You found it and took off and left. <laughs> I, I was afraid to come back. I was afraid to come back. I mean, that's embarrassing. I know. Scoot over. We're going. Right. Can't drive anymore. I'm falling apart today, guys. I'm falling apart. We're on a mission. Go look at the truck again. What's uh? What's your wife call you? The party pooper. Negative Nancy. Negative Nancy. Uh, negative Nancy. Negative Nancy. Pointing out some some facts. Some flaws. He's really good. I found this flaws. awesome truck, and he just came over here to shotgun and started blowing holes in it. It like cuts your knees out. I know. I'm just giving you good good facts. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I got, I got all the insider information on about. See, if you wasn't my friend, I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So after second inspection, that's why you always come back and look at it a second time. That's right. Clint, uh, Clint's brought up some valid points, like the bed's missing a stage, and it's uh, it's definitely pieced together. We knew it was wrecked, so we're gonna keep this on the watch list as the best way to uh, best way to describe it, and head on down the road to the next one. Boys and girls, we are at the big one. This is a Ritchie Brothers, Orlando, Florida. We're a little pressed for time here, as we got to catch a flight here. Uh, actually, tomorrow morning. It's already late in the evening but we're gonna poke around here and uh, see what we find first things first most important thing on the list according to the little sheet they have we got a few uh mac trucks hiding down here somewhere we're gonna go scope them out and then uh see how far we can get on the other goodies the uh amount of equipment here is just absolutely mind-boggling to say the least need to get registered and find myself a book. This truck here don't look bad at first glance. Would you look at it too close? It's been uh, pile drived in the front. It is deleted, but it don't have the particular engine in it that I'm looking for. The bed don't look too bad until you see the big gaping holes in the side of it right there. I'm not for sure what that's from. All the uh, dog bones are just flat. Knocked out of it. The one next door here actually looks quite a bit rougher but uh, it does have the engine in it i want the bed don't have the paint on it but it actually looks to be in better shape but tires on it are shot frames pretty rough inside and in this one is extremely rough just not uh just not feeling it this one here <laughs> it's it's a basket case. Uh, yeah, I guess I just tried to paint the hole in the exhaust there. I'm curious to see what these trucks 
sell for, but these are the ones that uh, I guess they look good in pictures and you get to looking very close. I mean, the whole posts are all rotted out. They're just a hot mess. Just a hot mess. Just not a whole lot out there. Uh, what I'm looking for, there's actually one down here that looks really nice. Good looking truck. Uh, but the engine in it sounds horrible. Uh, it's got, it's bad news bears on the engine. So we'll walk down here. I'll show you that one real quick. And then I think we're going to venture off and go look at some other stuff. It's a bummer. I was really hoping to be driving a truck home, not riding an airplane, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Now that, that right there is a cool looking old dump truck. No Oshkosh, look at her. Very PA. She looks pretty legit to be honest with you. I think it's got a brand new bed on it. Barn door. You don't see those every day. So this one right here is probably the best looking mechanical truck out of the bunch, but the bed has got some premature cancer on it. The engine in this thing is uh, toast. Inside door panel is missing. I mean, that's all minor stuff that could be fixed, but again, it's just not worth dragging that girl back home to Indiana and taking a chance on her. We're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a chance on something a little bit closer to home. All right, let's venture off and uh, see what else we can find. I'm not looking forward to the skid steer. Uh, we'll find we'll find something a little better than some skid steers around here. Got uh, graders, rollers, dozers. You name it. If they make it, it's probably here on this lot somewhere. I don't know if we're gonna have time to. Uh, Sneak around and see it all here on our time crunch, but got an 85 Komatsu. I'll tell you what I'm interested in is the uh, D8T right here on the other side of it. Check out that beauty. A little bit of fresh paint on her. Got some rail wear for sure. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's pretty war there. Somebody's throw some new sprockets on it for some good pictures. That is a beast of a machine. Everybody's like, that's what you need to build ponds. It's kind of like Chris in the uh, 550 Volvo. It's great once you get it to the job site, but I can't afford to move it around. See the heartbeat of this thing? There she is. <laughs> the emission system takes up as much space inside the hood is what the dang uh, engine itself does Let's see if she'll crank oh somebody ran this one was a smoker oh she fires right up Even full of fuel. That's probably a two thousand dollar savings. It's not bad actually. It's only got fifteen hundred hours on it. Blade's got a little bit of slop in her. Look how much slacks with that track. You see it? She's uh, she's definitely due for another carriage. Jump up on the old 85 Komatsu while we're here and just take a little gander at it. I guess we gotta open up in the right order here. Boy, they got that stuff crammed. These Komatsus, every one of these things, they got her crammed in there tight. 
on the old uh, engine compartment. See if she's got any life left in her. This is going to be a little bit bigger of a dozer. Well, the 850, obviously. Why don't you like us? Make sure we got all of our control safety down. Come on. There we go. to beat a John Deere dozer to be honest with you especially the older ones but uh, I would like to take one of these and put it in the dirt one day and play with it see what she's all about all right let's march on really hoping I can figure out this clip before Gage figures out the dump lever yeah <laughs> this one comes with a free swimming pool I was sitting here thinking I was like I think I'm taking two video clips the whole time we've been out here that's uh, that's some cold water dump it out sir See how much he likes me. Oh, he found the he found the right one. Send it. I mean. If you had a job you needed it for, it'd be priceless, but if you didn't... What's nice with the wet areas is, you know, you don't have to turn around. Yeah. You can just go up there and Especially with tracks. Yeah. It's not as cool as the other ones where the whole thing turns around, though. Correct. Alright. We're in Arta... Arto? I think it's the name of it. Some goofy ultra but check this out the steering wheel the dash is in the center of the steering wheel it turns around the outside it actually only goes that far to the center steer but it's different it's got some lightning bolts but it don't have no go-go then we got some dead old battery those but she's an interesting looking creature to say the least look how the bed how high the bed pivots back there I don't know what the logic is with that. Look, like it's got some aftermarket sideboards on it, too. Yeah, but I mean, look, it's like 12 inches higher. It's, like a football field. it's got Hendrix walking beam suspension on it. The dump cylinders are way back here. The what? The dump cylinders are right here. I'd really like to see it down there. That is different. There's how those cylinders work. Check that out. That is different. Way different. To start it and raise the bed. How do you raise the bed? We can't figure There's out. a little lever in the dash in the center console. I 
That is wild. That is so different. Just got regular trucker ends in it. Well, this one here has got a little more of a conventional style cylinder set up. To pay attention to these on auction. I'm just kind of curious what they uh, may or may not sell for. Big O D8K with a ripper. This is a beast, absolute beast of a machine. That's got CNC equipment wrote all over it. We did try to fire it up batteries are pulled down but the rumor is clint's got some video of this thing running on his channel so sneak on over there and check that out but man oh man she's a she's a big old girl bet you that thing will burn through a little bit of fuel got a decent little 850b this is the short track not the blt loan track i believe this might be a few model years newer than mine as well but it is not in very good shape. It has been uh, it has been used pretty good. All right, onward we go. What else can we find? I haven't looked at the uh, publication to see how many excavators they've got crammed in this place, but they've got them stacked together so tight you almost can't even get between them to uh, get in the uh, machines. But there is rolls after roll after roll of these things here pretty much every size and shape make and model we're not going to get too carried away playing around the excavators you guys seen all those at the other auctions something nice about the other auctions you can actually get in them and work the machine a little bit and kind of get a feel for it here it's uh see if it starts see if it don't see if it moves see if it don't and that's about as far as you're gonna get but if you've never been here before to see the amount of equipment they got shoved in this place it is definitely definitely worth the trip that is for sure no idea what the lifting capacity of this big old taylor fork truck is look at the rear end of this thing holy jesus of course the uh fork mass is off of it right now i'm sure for transportation purposes but that that might be the biggest fork truck i've ever seen to be quite honest with you that thing is massive big old cummins engine in it i'm sure it was used in a port or something like that but that thing is a beast look what i found that is the boom for that massive fork truck over there. look at that beast holy holy crap That is crazy. That is one impressive piece to say the least. I'd love to see that thing all together one good time. Then check this out. Now if that's just not as cool as it gets. I don't know what is. That is neat. Assuming it was some, some type of old uh, oil well truck or something got the ropes and the winches on the back that is neat man look at that I got the wooden wooden dash in it that is too cool oh flathead motor that fan that belt that is cool man that may be the coolest thing I've seen since I've been down here all right guys walking out of the uh, back part here they got a whole bunch of engines good bad ugly all the above fork trucks conveyors road cones attachments cranes you name it it is probably here somewhere but we're going to uh venture over the hill i believe they've got some uh semi trucks over there i've not had much luck at all finding a dump truck so uh plan b is to find possibly a straight truck we can put a bed on and make a decent dump truck out of so Gonna take one last glance at those while we're here. Just see if we can 
check anything up and we'll go from there. Check out this absolute beauty of a truck. I think it's a little bit more what we need for uh, a dump truck, but man, she is so sweet. Sweet. All right, gotta stop daydreaming and get back to reality. Got a few of them here, not quite de direct dressed out as nice, but I did see this one Mac over here. Looks like it might be kind of what we're looking for. So the thought process is we could obviously strip the uh, fifth wheel, the deck plates and everything off of it. It's already set up as a triaxle, but it's got air ride suspension on it, which is not great for our neck of the woods. Well, I got them parked in here tight. This is actually quite a bit of a newer truck, newer than I thought. Got to set forward front axle on it. Not quite what we hoped for. There's potential there. I really just, we got one dump truck project you guys remind me of all the time. Oh, Lieutenant Dan, I don't really need another project. I just need another truck. I just need a dump truck. You wouldn't think they'd be that hard to find. Got another Mac shoved up against the fence here. Again, it's got air ride on it. I think it's got a good old fashioned Rust Oleum spit and shine. This is an older truck though. We got it parked up there so tight. I don't know if we need to get the hood open. Uh, yeah, that's an E-Tech engine. around the other side see if she's unlocked see if she'll uh maybe fire man and... she's well used boys she is well used she looks good at first glance but she is well used i can see enough on that one as well all right let's keep walking this is actually a fairly clean truck got a little bit of a fuel leak right here which is not a huge issue or concern to me it's got the engine brakes on it's an r model new york truck it is uh it is extremely clean but it's a little short a little short in the frame section there so i don't know if that's gonna gonna hurt us but does already have a wet kit on it. It's plumb for trailer. It's got the 8LL transmission on it, which is good. It's a little bit crustier back here, but it's not horrible. But it would be another frame job, and it's a double frame truck, so. Close, close, but no cigar, my friend. Well, unfortunately, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this one as well. I am leaving here with my tail tucked. I had high hopes of coming to Florida, finding me a good dump truck, buying it, and driving it home. But luckily, I bought a round-trip plane ticket, so I still got a seat to get back to Indiana. So we're going to keep looking. If you guys stumble across something out there that may work, I'd love to have an O2 or older Mac. 8LL transmission, steel bed, triaxle. 40,000 ish. That's my goal. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give a big old thumbs up. I want to make sure you don't miss out on what we got coming up next, which is some awesome shop projects. I consider subscribing if you haven't already. That way we can catch you on the next one. I'm out of here. Discount dirt works. What are we gonna do today? Uh, go play with their dump truck. Yeah, we're worried about pickles. Pickles. But really, pickles are the high concern. Right? Somebody's real, real picky up there, and he's worried about pickles at the chicken pickles. tent. Pickles. You can't have pickles on a sandwich. Everything's got to be plain. No ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup's a sin.